What's up, everybody? Welcome to Viewpoint Abroad. If you don't know me, my name is John. I'm an expat who's been living in China for over 10 years now. Um, I work here. I do several other things here as well. As for, uh, I do business, um, stock trading, and day trading, and fitness. I do all kinds of different things here. And over here on this channel, we talk about all those different topics and things. And uh, today, we're going to talk about freedom in China. A lot of people have the misconception that Chinese people don't have freedom. And I'm here to tell you that is absolutely not true. And I'm going to clear that up for you guys really fast today in this short video. So let's dive right on in. Now, uh, as an expat who's been living here for over 10 years, I've seen firsthand and I have lots of Chinese friends. And uh, so I know this topic quite well. And we've actually discussed this many, many times on many occasions. And, uh, so I'm here to share, you, share with you guys uh, what I've seen and my thoughts and opinions on this. So basically, uh, Chinese people have a lot of freedom. And as an expat living in China, you also have a lot of freedom. Uh, in my own experience, I feel I have more freedom here than I actually had at home in America. Uh, so that being said, uh, some of the things that they have freedom here to do, which I guess... You, you, I would say you guys in America or other countries also have freedom to do, to do this as well, but it comes with consequences. And this in China doesn't come with consequences. And that is your, their freedom of speech, right? Uh, you know, like in, in America, for example, if you go out on, on social media, you can be a nobody or you can be a celebrity. You go out on social media and you say something about a particular group of people, um, you can face serious consequences for that, such as being fired, Right. Or getting shunned, you know, from whatever you're if you're a celebrity, you know, you can get shunned by lots of whatever, lots of your viewers or fans, uh, companies, you know, they want to endorse you and things like that. You lose lots of sponsorships and all this other stuff and uh, lots of money, millions of dollars. If you're a normal Joe, average Joe, you can lose your job, you can get fired. You can have trouble finding another job if what you said is out there and people can go back and dig it up and find it. All those things come with serious consequences. In China, there are no consequences for that. You can pretty much say what you want to say about any group of people you want to say it about. And nothing will, will happen to you, right? Like if you were to go on social media and say, um, I don't know, I, I hate gay people or I hate uh, black people, or I hate white people, or I hate uh, Korean people, or whoever, right? I don't like fat people. Or any group of people, right? You can go out and publicly say that on social media or even to their face. And there's no consequences for that in terms of like, you know, a job or if you're a celebrity, you're not going to really have a lot of uh, problems dealing with this type of thing. Um, in Chinese culture, it's quite common to be very honest and upfront. Um, people will tell you to your face, you know, they'll come up to you and tell you directly to your face, oh, you're fat. Or they will say, oh, you're ugly, or you're handsome, or you're beautiful, or oh, you're too black, oh, you're, you're really white, right? They say these things to your face, and they also go out on social media and say similar things. And uh, nobody says anything, nobody bats an eye. It's 100% perfectly fine, right? You can do that if you want to do that. You're not going to lose your job. You don't have to be in fear of losing your job or anything like that, okay? Now, that being said... Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, just like you guys, there are some things that they cannot say. And like for you guys, right? Like if you guys were to go out, and people I see people do it all the time, go out on social media and they say like whatever, uh, fuck the president or uh, whatever, you know, the government's messing up and doing all these bad things and corruption or some bad things are happening, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Some people agree. Some people disagree. And they fight about it in the comments. And that's it. Nothing matters. Nothing said. In China, it's the exact opposite of that. Um, you don't have the freedom to go out and, uh, like on social media and openly say some negative comments about the president or the government. Um, now, if it's not a serious, a serious like violation, like not a serious problem, uh, what will happen will be your post on social media will basically just be deleted, right? Like some moderator or some whoever, you know, they will delete it, it will get flagged, they'll delete it, and your post will just disappear, it will be gone, nobody will see it. 
Um, but if it is a serious violation, you can face consequences for that, such as you know uh, jail time or something. Um, but it's usually not a serious punishment. Um, you can face punishment for going out and saying something negative about the president or the government. Now that being said, people do talk about this and, and the privacy of their own you know home or within the comfort of their friends. People will say talk about these topics you know openly. They'll say you know the things they like or don't like and what they feel about this, and that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Everybody knows this is going to happen, and there's no no consequences for that, right? It's not like you're out organizing like a a, a rally against the government or something, right? Those things are obviously banned and, and illegal. Um, but when it comes to speech, right, you just can't say anything bad about the president. Uh, but other stuff, you can openly speak about what you want to speak about, when you want to speak about it. Nobody will bat an eye, no consequences, no trouble, no harm, no foul. Because people just expect that, right? That's just what's expected out of people is to be open and honest and say what they feel. Uh, so that's pretty much how it is as far as the freedom of speech goes here. Now, as far as other freedoms go, um, you know, for everyday life, it's pretty free. Like, you can do what you want. Uh, I can go outside right now and, uh, you know, 7-Eleven and, and buy a beer or a bottle of vodka or something and sit on the sidewalk and drink it. And I can take my shirt off and take my pants off, sit there in my underwear and drink it. Nobody will say anything. People will look at you funny, but nobody's going to say nothing. It's perfectly fine. I see it all the time. People walking around, you know, on the road, drinking beer, sitting outside, drinking and doing all these other things. Nobody cares. Nobody says nothing. It's not illegal. No problem, right? You do that in America, uh, you can face some, some trouble over that. You can even go to jail for it. So here you have some simple, like, stupid little freedoms like this. But there's so many of them. I mean, it's hard to even think about all of them. There's just so many small little freedoms like that that people do have. Uh, of course, you know, you can't, like, use drugs or sell drugs and things like that, which is pretty much illegal in almost every country. So, uh, you know, of course, you don't have the freedom to do, do, do those type of things. And basically anything that that, car, that causes, like, bodily harm to people, right, it will be illegal. Like, I mean, you can't, you know, carry weapons around and things like that, which I don't know you can do that in some places, but um, here in China you cannot, right? So... In my opinion, this isn't a big deal anyway. Uh, so for the most part, uh, most of the freedoms are there. Um, even, I guess the biggest concern that a lot of people, uh, especially a lot of uh, Western countries think about China is their lack of political freedom. Um, now that is, a, uh, it's, hard, it's a hard to explain. Uh, you know, they do have freedom to, to vote on, on, on things such as uh, party members, or even the president, right? They can vote for those things, but it's just a one party system, right? So there's not two different parties with two opposing views. They have one party, one view, one goal for the country. And so basically, if you're part of this country, you should have the same goal as your, as your countrymen, right? So uh, basically that's just improving the country, you know, improving the country's economical situation and that's basically the main goal of the country is to improve their economical situation and make it better for all of the people who are living here. And so they only have one party to vote for, but they have different party members that they can choose between, but they're all in the same party. So they do have the freedom to vote on different party members. So uh, they do have freedom for that. Uh, it's just don't have, uh, you know, they have different candidates, you know, two, three, four, five different candidates they can vote for, but they're all within the same party. So uh, the other thing, let me see, uh, the last thing I'll touch on will be media. Uh, when it comes to China, media is banned, so people don't really have the freedom to, uh, to access uh, Western media, such as uh, like normal news media, as well as social media, such as Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and things like that. Most Chinese people uh, don't have access to that. Those things are actually banned in China. And I know what you're thinking, well, how are you making this video from China? Well, there's ways around it. If you have a brain, you can get around it if you really want to. Most people don't because they just don't care anyway. Uh, for the most part, um, China tends to ban these things. For one, I think it's because of the, 
the harm it's doing to Chinese culture, just like all these, I'm gonna say harm, but just changing the culture. When you have a lot of this uh, Western social media influences, it's changing Chinese culture a whole lot, and especially with their economic growth. People, uh, you know, they're seeing a lot of things from outside of China, and it's changing the culture inside of China. Within the past 10 years, I've seen a huge cultural shift in China, and I think now China is really trying to, uh, to lower the impact of their, their culture being lost to, to Western culture. So that a lot of those things are banned, such as social media and things like that. And also, as far as the news media, uh, a lot of the news media are just banned from outside as well. They do allow some inside of China, such as, uh, like, I don't know, like that BBC and some other things like that, that are allowed in China. Um, but a lot of the, a lot of the media is banned or they cherry pick what they allow to be shown in China. And uh, I think a lot of the reason, this is my opinion on this, but I think a lot of reason for that is a lot of the Western countries tend to portray China as like 1940s communist China. But China isn't like that anymore. This, the new China is definitely way different than that. But they're not portrayed that way in the media. And so they don't want this old idea of or it's an old Western idea of how China was to be spread into China. Because so basically it's kind of like false information. It's not true because things are different nowadays. Uh, which I can't speak from experience because I'm not that fucking old. But <laughs> you guys get the idea, right? So those things are, are typically banned in China. But you do have access to some Western media uh, and some different you know, Western uh, media stories and things like that. But a lot of it is blocked. Uh, China actually reports on pretty much the same stuff anyway. It's just the way they say it may be a little bit different. And some of the stuff they might leave out. Uh, but you can check around on different media sites and find that if you have you know, access to outside media like I do. And a lot of people do. So uh, it's not really banned. And it's not a severe punishment for that. Uh, I mean, if you, if you get caught checking social media or on another social media from another country, you're not going to face serious consequences. Uh, you know, a lot of times they might just give you like a fine and make you, you know, remove your information from their website, something like that. And if it's a serious violation, like if you're going on Western media, Western social media and saying bad things about China, then you may face a more serious violation for that. But other than that, uh, the other freedoms they have, everything, freedom to do pretty much anything they want, just like any other country does. Or like most Western countries do anyway, I'll say that. I'm not going to say any country. But, uh, so that's about it for, for today, guys. I just want to stop here. I don't want to make this video too long. Just let you guys know some of the simple freedoms and stuff that they do have that people have a misconception about and think Chinese people don't have, which is totally not true. Uh, so that being said, I'm out of here, guys. If you thought this was interesting, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.